What's up everyone, Willie Apple here, and today Apple has released the Mac OS Sequoia 15.2 Beta 1 to people with an Apple Silicon Mac, and it's video I'll be showing you what is new inside the software. We got a lot of things to talk about, let's get started. So this update came in at 14.94 gigabytes here on my Emo MacBook Air, but yeah, let's take a look at what is new here inside this latest beta. We got a lot to talk about, let's get started. All right, so the first one has to do with Apple Intelligence. We got some brand new things here for Apple Intelligence. The first one that you can see right here is ChatGPT integration. So you can log in within a ChatGPT account and it will log itself with the ChatGPT app. So if you have that on your Mac, you'll be able to create some new content here for ChatGPT. And I like to show you what ChatGPT can do with writing tools. So we have writing tools update right here. So I'm just gonna create, hello, how's it going? And if we go to the writing tools, you're gonna see a new button down here called compose. So you can compose content with ChatGPT right here. So if I were to say, do create an essay on why ChatGPT is the best, you're actually able to compose stuff right here. So let's let it compose real fast. All right, so title, why ChatGPT stands out as a premier AI language model, and it works pretty well. And inside of writing tools, we also have this box right here that says describe your change. So I think this is part of Apple intelligence. So if I were to put add mentions about Siri integration, so if I were to do that, this is going to rewrite it. And this is actually going to use Apple Intelligence, not ChatGPT. So this is something new with writing tools. So since writing tools were unable to do that, you could use ChatGPT if you wanted to. All right, there we go. And if I were to look inside of here, it should show paired with Siri, ChatGPT can provide real-time updates and improvements. So yeah, writing tools have gotten a major buff here inside this latest beta. And not only that, we actually have a little bit of a smarter Siri. So let me just try to put it on this monitor real fast. There it is. So if I were to say, what is the weather? It will give us the old Siri response. So I don't know why it's not working. Siri's just a little bit glitchy here in this beta. All right, so I'm not sure what's, what's happening with Siri, but we do have ChatGPT integration inside of Siri. Hopefully that gets fixed. But, but I just had to trust my word that Siri is just much more improved because it has full-on ChatGPT integration. And if you were to ask, ask ChatGPT, it will immediately switch the response to ChatGPT, even if it is a built-in response. So that's very nice to see here. Now, next change has to do with Image Playground. So we have this brand new app inside of here. I did try requesting access. However, I do not have access quite yet. So if you were to just click on Done by default, it just closes out of Image Playground. But if I were to press escape and then press done, it actually doesn't care and I can just go inside of here. This just gives us a good look at the interface. So we have themes we can choose from. So if I wanted a park with a lighthouse in it or inside the mountains, and I could even choose a style, which it isn't working for me at the moment. And I could even choose images that I would like, and I could even choose a person. So this won't work until I get approved inside of this and I can even describe my image. So let's say Park has a massive lighthouse in the mountains. So this will just generate that image. However, it doesn't work at the moment. So I'm able to use that description. So hopefully once I get approved, I'll be able to take advantage of it. However, I just cannot do at the moment. You also have to take my word for that one there as well. Now, next change has to do with Genmoji. So we have Genmoji here, which is basically the feature that allows you to create emojis. So this picker is kind of buggy here because it has Genmoji support. However, you do need to get approved for image playgrounds in order to use Genmoji. And you could use it in any text field. So basically any standard Swift UI text field or app kit text field will work just fine and you'll be able to add emojis in. However, they're not cross platform. So if you were to send a Genmoji to an Android user or even or even somehow get to Windows from Mac OS, it just won't work because Genmoji isn't supported on Windows or Android. It's just on iOS and Mac OS. I'm pretty sure it should work on Vision OS if you switch it over to Vision OS, for example. However, you cannot directly create it on Vision OS for some reason. You just need to create it on Mac OS. Now, next change is that we got a little bug fix here inside of the control center. If we were to go to airdrop right here, the airdrop text would be all the way up here for some reason. Now it's back to where it should be, right directly in the center, which is really nice to see. Now, next change has to do with the App Store. So if we were to go inside the App Store right here, and the next change also has to do when you click inside of Apple Arcade. So if you were to go to all games right here, you don't have a drop down menu that you'll be able to 
filter stuff by. So if I want to sort by controllers and multiplayer, and you could sort by the name and maybe make it 12 plus, you have all these games that you could choose from right here. And they just added some filtering here inside the all games section, which is really nice to see. Still not gonna use Apple Arcade because of that, but at least you have that option if you do use it. Now we did get a couple of brand new splash screens here inside the latest beta of Sequoia. So the first one you just saw right there, it talked about Apple Intelligence inside of the Freeform app. So if you were to choose Image Playgrounds, I do not have access to it quite yet. I still need to get access to it, but it is integrated here inside of the app right here. And upon opening Mail for the first time, you will see that it is doing some upgrades. And while we did not get anything visually inside the Mail app, categories seem to be confirmed in here since if you were to search up categories, if you were to go inside of here, there's enable categories here inside of the help menu. However, it's just not enabled quite yet. Hopefully we get that pretty soon. And you could also see here that we have primary transactions, updates, promotion, and all mail. It's just not in here quite yet. So hopefully we get that inside the next beta pretty soon. And just to show you, if I were to just type the letter A right here, and it doesn't point anything as you can see right here. If you were to type letter A, for example, just points to where that feature is inside the menu bar. Now let's take a look at RAM usage inside this latest beta of Sequoia and it seems to have went up just a little bit here inside this beta. So we have this weird, I don't know what this is, and this has just showed up here which is kind of affecting what our memory usage is right here. And I'm also not sure what this is, this also seems to be new so, and this is part of Xprotect however I don't think this should be using 110 megabytes. Since I'm pretty sure Expertech doesn't need much, since you don't see my app coming, actually you see it right here, but it does not come up. So it looks like there's a small little issue with his Expertech service. So I'll hopefully see memory usage get a little bit better here in the next beta. So hopefully Apple addresses those issues here in the next beta. Moving on to storage usage, you do remember me saying that it is a 16 gigabyte install. So let's take a look at the storage. So if we let it load a bit, we can see macOS is using pretty much the same with Apple Intelligence using six gigabytes instead of five now. So it looks like the actual macOS size has went down a little bit. All right, what can we expect next from Apple? All right, so let me put a calendar widget right here so I could show you. So I do not expect another beta of 15.2 in the next week, but I expect one in the week after, on the week of the 4th. So I would expect it probably here on the 5th or the 4th. I'm going to take my bets and say the 5th. We'll hopefully get a lot of new features and hopefully I'll have access to Image Playground by then. And we'll hopefully see a lot of brand new stuff like the Mail app. We did not get that here in this latest beta. But yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, share this with your friends. Download my apps in the description down below. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!